How's it going people? For today's video, we're going to take a look at the new Anarchy Acres bundle. But before we do, I do want to quickly share with you all some tips when it comes to the new farm animals and the animal houses. So before you do anything, the first thing you should do is build an animal house. It only costs 10 planks. If you don't see it here under equipment, you may have to increase your village rating to level 2. Once you've built an animal house, you'll then unlock animal treats, which you can find at the grill. Once you've crafted the animal treat, you can then use that to bring wild animals back to your farm. So you just walk up to it and feed it. And I believe it lasts for about 30 seconds. After that, it'll wear off and you'll have to feed them another treat. So you may wanna to try to go for animals that are closer to your village. Once it wears off, all you have to do is just feed them again, and then run to the animal house you want to assign them to. Another way you can bring farm animals back to your village is by using vehicles. Uh, in this example, I just used a fishing pole to put a chicken in the back of my vehicle. And then I drove them to my village and from there, all you have to do is just feed it an animal treat and then assign it to one of your animal houses. So you can use vehicles, you can also use fishing poles, or you can just use animal treats and run back. Also, another thing you may want to avoid doing is having campfires near your farm animals. Because if a chicken jumps into it, he will die. And you'll also want to make sure at least one villager helps take care of your farm animals. And the way you do that is by selecting resource jobs, you'll see a new option that says take care of animals. And after that, you shouldn't need to feed them to keep them happy. Um, the only time you'll really need to feed them is if you need the materials, which is what I'm gonna go over next. Oh, he spawned inside my barn. Get out of my barn. Speaking of which, we are gonna take a look at the three new barn buildings, as well as the decor items. But first, I want to go through the farm animal tips. Also, it looks like if they're very happy, you get the maximum speed for harvesting resources. And I haven't fed Barnadette in a few hours, so I'm assuming it's because Peely was taking care of her. And maybe this trough also helped. And you can have up to a total of 50 animals in your Lego world. But you probably don't want to have 50 because you'll want at least a few villagers taking care of them. Anyways, next thing I want to show are the different types of resources you can receive from the different farm animals. And I'll leave a link to where I found this chart in the description if you want to go check it out. In my opinion, the cows give some of the best resources, so we'll start with that one. So just to make things easy for you, I went ahead and organized my inventory. When it comes to cows, these are the materials that you'll want to use. Spicy pepper and pepper seeds give you spicy burgers, snowberry seeds and snowberries give you snowberry shakes, wheat grain, wheat, corn, corn kernels and vines all give you milk. So those are the materials you want to use when it comes to feeding your cows. And it doesn't matter where the cow came from. It can be a frostlands cow or a grasslands cow. When it comes to sheep, the only resource you can get from them is wool. And the materials you need to feed them are either wheat grain or wheat. You can also feed them corn, corn kernels, or vines. If you try to feed them anything else, you're just going to get fertilizer or nothing at all. So that's the food you need to use when it comes to sheep. And same thing is true with the ram. Uh, the only good material you can get from it is heavy wool. And the way you get the heavy wool is by feeding it vines, wheat grain, wheat, corn kernels, or corn. If you feed it anything else, you're either going to get nothing or fertilizer. There's a few resources you can get from chickens. You can get eggs, fried eggs, and feathers, as well as fertilizer. But I just wanted to focus on the non-shitty resources. So in order to get eggs, you can use corn, corn kernels, raspberry, raspberry seeds, slapberries or slapberry seeds, snowberry, snowberry seeds, or wheat grain. Uh, when it comes to the fried egg, you can use the pepper seed. If you try spicy pepper, you'll just get fertilizer. And if you give them vines, you'll get feathers. If you need feathers for arrows. But yeah, these are the items that you want to feed the chicken. And this is what you can get from it. And when it comes to the pig, the two main resources they give are slurp mushrooms and slurp juice. Uh, you can get that by feeding the pig bread, corn kernels, corn, corn on the cob, fried eggs, pizza, pumpkin, pumpkin pie, pumpkin seeds, slap berries. 
slapberry seeds, snowberry vines, wheat grain, wheat, and snowberry seeds. I had to put them down here because I ran out of room. But all of these items on these first three rows and snowberry seeds will give you slurp mushrooms. And if you want to get slurp juice from your pig, then you'll have to get it either fruit pie, raspberry, or raspberry seeds. Obviously, I don't recommend feeding in items like fruit pies or pizza or any type of cooked item like pumpkin pie or fried eggs, corn on the cob, because I don't feel like slurped mushrooms are worth it. So you may want to try feeding them one of the other items. But if you try feeding a pig anything else, you'll either get fertilizer or nothing at all. So that's how uh, the resources work when it comes to the new animal houses. And your farm animals will dance with you whenever you do an emote. So not only do villagers dance, but animals can also dance. Oh, we got a new villager. This one's name is Brooks. And the first thing he did was go to my refrigerator. Okay, Silas, what are you doing to Peely? Silas! Somebody report Silas to HR. Oh, here's another new villager this one's name is ash in the patch notes they said ash was wild about plants and brooks is all about channeling nature's beat there were three others called cadence lena lane and guernsey but we haven't seen them yet also bears will deal damage to your structures so you may want to kill them before they get close to your village you can also outrun them if you can't kill them but if you do decide to kill them, you should get a lot of meat from it. I believe we got a total of eight when we killed the bear. And he did seem like he was easier to kill compared to brutes. Last thing I want to do is show everything you get from the Anarchy Acres bundle, which cost 800 V-Bucks. And big shout out to Broken for gifting it to us. Uh, with this one, we get three buildings. And this first one we're going to take a look at is called Anarchy Barn Classic. And there's all the resources you'll need to build it. And all of these buildings will require wood and planks. But yeah, here's what it looks like from the front. We got two double doors, as well as a window up top. And we also have a door on the side here. Uh, when we go inside, we have the big room at the bottom. And if we go up the stairs, we have a smaller room up here with a couple of windows. And there's also a couple of windows on this floor as well. But that's what the Anarchy Barn Classic looks like. Next up, we have the Anarchy Loft Barn, and there's everything you'll need to build it. I did add a ramp here because it was slightly elevated. Here's what it looks like from the side. I also added a stair here just so we could walk in without having to jump. And those are the only two entrances, one on the rear. We also have two windows over here and the main entrance in the front. We also got two windows up there. But yeah, we just got like one big room here slightly smaller room on this side and if we go upstairs we have this small room up here so that's what the anarchy loft barn looks like and last up we have the biggest building which is the anarchy barn deluxe and here's everything you'll need to build it we got two double doors as well as a huge opening on the second floor in the front and i like how the doors open automatically now when you walk up to them we also have this door right here and one thing I should point out is that I did build these stairs. I added the stairs onto it just so we could walk inside without having to jump. But here's what it looks like from the side. We got two windows on the side. We also have a door in the rear. And again, I added stairs here as well on both sides. So the stairs don't really come with the building, but here's what it looks like from the back. And we also have two entrances on this side and I added stairs in this ramp just so we could get in a little bit easier. But those are all of the entrances. We're gonna go ahead and go to the front. I think I may end up putting some small fences in between here and making this like a stall. Maybe once we get horses, I'll put my horses in this building. But yeah, there's the two front doors right there. We got this big building this little hallway over here, and this small room right here, which leads to outside. So that's everything on the first floor. And here's what it looks like on the second floor. Slightly more room on the second floor compared to the previous two. But yeah, that's what the Anarchy Barn Deluxe looks like. Again, you could get the buildings by themselves for just 600 V-Bucks if you're not really interested in the decor. 
Uh, speaking of decor, I'm gonna go ahead and build each of those items to show you what they look like as well. So when it comes to decor items, we got a new table. There's everything required to build it. It's called the Acres Farm Table. We'll just put it there for now. See, we also got an acre side table, which we'll go ahead and place here. We also got this Anarchy Acres sideboard, which we'll go ahead and place here. And you can store items inside of that sideboard. Can store items in the other two though. And we also got this Anarchy Acres dining table. Next up we have chairs. We got an Acres handmade chair. There's everything required to build it. Go ahead and place that there. We also have an Acres rocking chair. And I'm gonna place this on the outside right here. And we also have the Acres rustic chair. We'll put this on the other side of our table. We also have an Acres bench. We'll put our bench right here for now. And that's all of the chairs. Oh, somebody likes my new rocking chair. And we only got one light fixture. And it doesn't like you can put it on the walls. But here's what it looks like in game. Actually look kind of bright compared to some of the other lights we've gotten. When it comes to houseware, we have the Acres Moving Dolly, which we'll go ahead and place here. That looks just like a regular dolly. Oh, Barnadette. What are you doing in here, Barnadette? We also have the Acres Washboard, which costs four planks. And we'll just go ahead and place it right here for now. So that's the washboard. We also have this Acres Wooden Hoist. I'm not entirely sure where to put this at. I guess we could put it right here above the second level. You can't really use it though, but that's what the wooden hoist looks like. We also got a new flower called Acres Flower Trio. And it's gonna cost you one granite and three vines. And there's what it looks like. And last up, we got the Acres Hay Bell, which costs wheat and cords. Here's what the Hay Bell looks like. We also have the Acres Space Heater. I actually thought this was a toolbox the first time I saw it, but apparently it's a space heater. Uh, we'll just place it here for now. So that's what the space heater looks like. We also have a round hay bale. And here's what that round hay bale looks like. And we also have a scarecrow, which is probably the coolest decor item. But there's what the scarecrow looks like. And that's everything you'll need to build it. We also got the dried hay bale stack. And here's what that looks like. We also got the fresh hay bale stack, which honestly doesn't look too different from the other one. But yeah, we got two different hay bale stacks. We also have an acres clothes line. Looks like there's some clothes hanging off of it as well. And we also have this acres pull cart. Uh, it only has one wheel on it though. I'm missing the tire. And that's all of the decor items that we got with the Anarchy Acres bundle. Let me know what you think about this new farm animal update in the comments below. And let me know what you think about the bundle as well. If you found this video useful, don't forget to drop a like. And if you really want to support the channel, be sure to use creator code A1. But that'll do it for this one. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And thanks for watching.